What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. Today we're going to be talking about a mistake that most of you guys have already made and I don't want it to continue. Now, when you start powering up cards in Madden 20, it's a lot different. Let me explain to you exactly what the scheme is right now, all right? Every like the cards in the market are pretty much set. It's not as expensive as we all thought it was going to be, but still, people are having a lot of issues with the actual, uh, you know, getting the training points, like accumulating training points, getting them, getting the right cards, a lot of that stuff. Because they've kind of set the market so that you have to, um, you know, if you're not going to buy packs, you have to grind a whole lot and get really, really lucky, or you, you're going to just buy, you're going to just buy the packs and try to sell them, quick sell whatever you get and try to get the trading points up that way. But what I want to urge you guys to do is to understand that because all the elite players can get power ups, you have to be very, very careful and don't just go willy nilly with power ups. Now, for instance, I was sitting and waiting for Tyreek Hill's power up to go down and it went down from 120k and I was able to get it for 40k, right? So this is a primary card simply because not very uh, it's very few cards that are going to have 90 plus speed. We don't know when they're going to be releasing Randy Moss. We don't have any information on that. So right now Tyreek Hill powering him up would put him to a 90 speed. So this right here is something that's obviously, you know, it's smart to go after. You got you would say, "All right, look, you know what? The speed really matters in the game. If I can get somebody beat over the top, I'm going to win, you know, probably a lot more than you lose." Remember the way you correlate it, if you go to the regs and you see how the Kansas City Chiefs play, you see how fast Tyreek Hill is, it's kind of the same thing in Mutt right now because he's one of the faster, um, you know, wide receivers. You know, Torrey Holt, when you level him all the way up, he's a 90. You could put Sprinter on him, get two, plus two more speed. But they've kind of increased the factor of speed. So when you're looking at the offensive side of the ball, this is a smart upgrade because not many people are going to be lucky enough to be able to do this so this is extremely smart to do it like that so when you look at the way that ea has set it up with the training point situation you have to make sure that every single training point that you use makes sense and i am going to be releasing uh some information about how i've been able to accumulate training points and upgrade my players as well so look out for that video coming very very soon uh definitely follow me on twitter instagram facebook and twitch all at G Myers World to know, you know, when I go live and stay updated with everything that I'm doing. You can also request to join the PS4 family, G Myers World family uh, on PlayStation, which is growing very, very fast. And I'm very, very humbled about that. Thank you guys so much for putting in a request uh, to join the family. Um, but this is what it's about, right? So I was able to snag Tyreek Hill's power up. So I'm going to show you what I did. Now, I use my loyalty packs and I raid sold the defensive player that I got to get a little bit little bit of training. So I got 610 right now. So this is what's going to happen. Always remember, don't waste your training on the actual core elite card. You go to the power up. So I'm going to show you right there. I won his power up for 40k eight minutes ago. All right. So now we go into the item binder and then we're going to go by newest and then we're going to determine what's going on with it. So here we go right now. We're going to go the newest. We're going to find Tyreek Hill. All right, so right there, we're gonna go to improve and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade him. All right, so here we go. 11, we should have enough to get him to where he needs to be. And then we'll see how that works out for us and go from there, all right? And this this is what I would urge you guys to do is to kind of see, you know, first of all, if you get the power up, see, try to calculate in your mind what it's going to cost you to get him to the, you know, to where he's gonna be right now with the 90 speed, right? After you do all that, then you determine how you're going to do it. You quick sell stuff in your binder. You know, you do a lot of different things. Try to figure out ways to get the training, um, you know, as cheap as possible. And usually it's from the free packs that you'll get from grinding the game. But again, it's certain ways you can grind to get the stuff faster that we're going to be discussing very soon. So now, what? Tyreek Hill gets double me. What? What? That That's it. Bro, why would I give a 5'10 receiver double me? You see what I'm saying about this? Like, that doesn't make any sense. What is that rocket ship that he got going on over there? What's, what's that? What's this ability thing? Where's the rocket? Well, we could give him streak specialist. Catching versus linebackers. And I, I think the best thing to do is give him, like, a uh, streak specialist, right? Because what? In specialist? On in routes? Double move elite? Slant specialist? Streaks. Yeah, it looks, it looks like we're going to just give him streak specialist. Because streaks, you know, better route running and catching on streak routes. If that actually works, you know what I'm saying? We're going to figure that out. That'll probably be the best bet for him. But this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. You have to know and kind of understand 
exactly what's going on with what you're doing because if you start just doing whatever you want and just, you know, oh, bro, I'm going to power this guy up, I'm going to power this guy up, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll understand that with the way that it is, you're going to lose out on a lot of the stuff that you would normally win with simply because, you know, training, part, training points are very, very hard to come by. All right, so now that I showed you that, right, we're not going to put double me on this guy. We pretty much we pretty much did all that just to make it so that we could get him to a 90 speed. Now we're going to put him back into the lineup and then we're going to go from there and then I'm going to show you what my next move is as far as where the power-ups are actually going and what I'm utilizing them as. But that's kind of weird that they gave him double me. I had no idea that he would be eligible for double me because I don't really think of Tyreek Hill as a guy that mosses people. So, you know, like that, that's just weird to me that that's actually happening right now, but it doesn't matter right now. So we'll put him in, right? Okay, he's going to have 90 speed right now. That's very, very good. It's fine and well. So offensively, the only thing that we're really missing right now, because we, we go on skill positions, right? We went quarterback. We got the wide receivers. We got the running back. Our old line, we're only missing one, which is the left guard. Uh, Quinton Nelson, I'm probably going to go after the theme builder and get an 86 for that to make sure that the offensive line is stout. Uh, when we go defensively, my next power-up move is probably going to be Jadavion Clowney. All right, let me explain to you what Jadavion Clowney is all about. Jadavion Clowney is a monster. Like, bruh, if this man is just somehow able to find a way to stay healthy, he's going to torment defenses for a very, very long time in the league. Um, I don't know what's going on specifically with the Texans not paying him, uh, but to give him plus one speed, it gets him closer to the 80, and then eventually we're going to want to add Sprinter. So those things are going to help to accumulate to add that speed. And in this game, every single point of an attribute is so much more important. It's crazy. Now, the reason that I really like uh, Jadavion Clowney, um, it, they gl he's glitchy. Like, for some reason, he'll, he's getting off of blocks a lot faster than even Miles Garrett, who I have blitzing off both sides, so it's kind of weird uh, the way that it's going. But this is what I would tell you right now, right? When you go to go try to power him up, that's going to cost you a little bit too. So because I have a few uh, gold packs, uh, well, I got gold packs that were free through grinding and playing solos, I got a decent amount of gold packs, right? So what I would do is go through my lineup right now and kind of see what am, what am I willing to lose right now? You see what I'm saying? Like, like what cards am I willing to just say, you know what, bro? I, I, I could do without you. Hold on, who's this guy? What? Bro, you're getting quick sold. Like, bro, I, didn't even I had a 77. That I didn't even realize that. Uh, anybody else that's not in the lineup that I could go ahead and quick sell? Yeah, Baker Mayfield, we're going to hold off on that because we might be able to put him in that 88 plus set. We just got to get one more thing. Von Miller, it will also be something huge, but he's very expensive. So that's also something that you got to be very, very careful about. DK Metcalf, I'm going to hold on to him for a little bit. That's Davion Clowney's power up, obviously. Um, as far as this guy, you can go too. I'm not really worried about that. Um, you can go John Ross. I thought I sold you already. I don't know why you're not there. And this is what, like, going through it like this, Right now, it's it's okay to do it like this simply because they haven't released any information on what they're doing with the, um, uh, you know, like the, uh, getting tokens like gold, silver, elites and stuff like that. So the reason that I'm doing this like this so willy nilly, like I don't really care, is because I need to get these guys powered up because I see the effect that they have on the field when they are powered up versus when they're not. All right, so that's 374. That's not going to be enough for all the Jadavia Clowney stuff. So we got to keep going. And you'll see, bro, I'm going straight down the line. I'm just looking for core goals and just going ape with it, bro. And then look, 524. So I'm going to take that, all right? Now I'm going to go go to Jadavion Clowney's power up at 74. Where's he at? Jadavion Clowney, all right? And I'm going to start powering him up. And these are the, de the decisions that I'm making is primarily based on immediate impact. I'm not doing it for backups. I'm not doing it for any other reason other than right now, I need players to play a certain way for me. Look at that. Already he's, he's that expensive. And then he gets to that. So I'm going to need 335 to get him to that level. All right. So now we got to go back in there and, um, you know, get a little bit more because we need 335 for that. Plus, we're going to probably want to give him an ability too. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff that goes in. Who's that? Who's this guy? Oh, Raymond Foster. I could literally rage sell that guy and not even care about it. Who is this guy? A core rookie. You, you can go, bro. Like, I, I don't even, I, yo, it's like 5K a core rookie right now. I was trying to hold on to them, but right now, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I, I got I to gotta get stuff popping. Like, I can't really be waiting on these dudes to, to do whatever. So, okay, you guys can all go. Okay, we got 176. All right, so we'll go back, get him done with the way that we're supposed to be doing, upgrade him to where he's supposed to be at. Let's go there. 
And then, like I said, with the way he already plays, I'm gonna actually be tweeting out some clips to show you guys what he's been doing in games, bro. He, like, people try to block him. He's always like that, bro, but they try to block him and it's a joke. Like, you can't block him. You know, they might hold him for a second or whatever, but he's coming, oh, Fearmonger? While engaged with a blocker, that's glitchy. Unstoppable force, high chance of run blocks and disrupt catches, zone hawk, more catch knockouts. I don't care about that. Tied of coverage, run stuffer. Well, okay, that that might be dangerous, but you know what's crazy? I might give him, I might give him Fairmonger and keep um, uh, Miles Garrett with the unstoppable force, just so that everybody doesn't have the same thing. Because remember, I'm using two linemen right now. And then I'm gonna wanna put something on a corner also. Or maybe I do reinforcements. See, these are the things that you're gonna have to evaluate, like how you wanna do it. Um, you know, coming down to the coming down to the nitty-gritty of the games, bro. Because all of these things, you know, you gotta you gotta take into account when you're actually in the game, what's going to matter the most to you. You know what I'm saying? Like what what is gonna be something of an X factor that's gonna make it so that your opponent can't do something? I'm thinking Fearmonger would be something that would be really, really good to have. Because, I, like I said, I already have unstoppable force on Miles Garrett. So that, you know what I'm saying, it works out to do it that way. And then we could go ahead and probably upgrade him with that uh, very soon. So that's just some insight into it because I know a lot of you guys just got the game and you're asking like, you know, it's so hard to get, you know, training points and stuff like that. You know, what's the best route? The best route is to utilize what you have as best as possible and to go for key positions. These two guys are going to create havoc. They create havoc instantly for me. So they're worth it, okay? Secondary players and all the other stuff right now, leave that alone right now. Don't really worry about that. Let's focus on some other things as we continue to get our teams upgraded uh, to higher levels, all right? Obviously, I'll be releasing more information as we go further into the gameplay. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell. If you wanna join the family as a member, you should see a join button. There are three levels to join. We have, the, you know, we have all type of tiers for every kind of budget. And then pretty much weekly on the weekends, I'm gonna give you guys on YouTube a stream and go over your squads and kind of help you build that up and uh, get yourself just completely ready for the gridiron. All right, guys, I wanna thank you again. Be safe. See you guys and girls next time. One love.